All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the hardest sport in the world. It's time to bleed. Yep. Ashton, why'd you start the video like that? You've never started like that before. I looked at my analytics of my YouTube videos for like the first time in a while because I don't really care too much for the videos to blow up. But um, it said for some reason, you know, the biggest thing that's the most important for YouTube videos is your first 10 seconds to, you know, grab their attention. And everyone hates when someone says, oh, my sport's the hardest. Every sport is hard, you know, in their own way. So this needs more coordination. This needs more flexibility. This needs more strength in this sport and this sport. They're all hard in their own way, but uh, you're never going to hear the top athletes in the world complaining with another top athlete about why their sport is harder. They're at where they're at for a reason because they don't give a shit about nothing else but their sport. Okay, so let's back out of the garage here. Absolute dandy start to uh, this car ride. Yeah, wouldn't you say that's a great way to intro my video? Yep, all right. Cue, cue the absolute banger we have chosen for today's video. Is this your heart? Yeah, yeah, okay. Off to the gym. Dandy. Off to the gym for first training. First of two beautiful trainings, okay? All right, let's let's uh, let's discuss the competition on Friday because, you know, this is our first car ride talk since uh, since the comp. I want to I talk about it, okay? The comp itself, you know, organization and uh, all that, it was good. It was good. It was a good comp, okay? The, like, general competition itself was good. It was all good. But uh, the, I feel like, uh, you no know, hate towards the judges, but I feel like the judging was different, you know, off. I don't mean that in a mean way, but uh, to be fair, I train eight hours a day every single day. I know what my routines look like. I know how they should be scored. This is my whole life, so uh, no hate towards the Like, I'm not trying to be rude toward the judges or anything, but the scores were different than elites, but my some of my routines performed at this competition were much better than my ones at, some of my ones at elite and the scores here for the better routines were less than the ones at elite so you know it doesn't it fucks with me because it doesn't give me a reference point of what to study what to fix what did i do wrong the floor one was good because uh one of the judges let me look at his uh you know tablet of what he deducted and everything so i could kind of like study it up and figure out why the fuck i'm only scoring a 12-5 and not a, like a 13-5 so i can work on that so i spent literally five hours this morning reading the code of points again i've read it about a bajillion times but you know just reading up on it again to see if there was maybe something i missed maybe something I could add to the routine, maybe something I could do to fix it up. So kind of figured out, a, not really a new routine, but a different routine to kind of start working. Uh, still pretty much all the same skills, just adding in connections that I can hopefully get in the routine so then I can stick my lines more. So I'll do like one of my hard skills, but then I'll rebound out of it into just like a front tuck. So then I can stick the front tuck and then there's no landing deduction, you know, just stuff like that. But yeah, other events like vault, you know, I scored a 13-6 both days at Elite. And then here I feel like I I know, I watched the video. I have it all on footage. I watched the video back. The vault was way better at my own gym. And I scored a 13-2 or something. Like, you know, it should have been like at least a 13-7. Like one-tenth higher than Elite. And it was not one-tenth better. It was much better than that, but it's okay. The meat didn't matter towards anything, but it's good. Also, uh, never in my life will I have a competition like that where it goes pommel, rings, floor, high bar, vault, P-bars. That is way off from the Olympic order. I've never trained or prepared for it to be like that. And I don't need, it's not something I need to prepare for, okay? I'm never gonna have a comp like that again. It was just a coincidence with some athletes, you know, falling behind on schedule, but like that didn't, it didn't really matter. You know, it gives, it gives a good little challenge. The only part I was more upset about was just kind of how long it was taking to do each event and stuff. The whole going from this event to that event didn't really matter too much. You know, it's still the same shit at the end of the day, but just with how long it took wasn't the most fun. And a little, little tip for uh, gymnasts out there, you know, if you're younger, starting to get into the release moves, the part that sucks is like my high bar routine. It was a, I, don't know, I skipped a stall there at the end and then because I missed my one release move, the part that sucks with release moves is you're not just missing the release move and then falling, you're missing the release move, so you miss the whole skill there, plus you fell. So because of my falling comp, I don't just lose one point, I lose a point and a half because I didn't get the whole five tenths for the skill I was doing, plus I miss out on 
an entire point because I fell. So that kind of just puts a huge damper on the whole routine itself. And then the rest of the routine, I was doing all these extra swings, you know. So high bar wasn't uh, quite what we wanted. But again, it's okay, okay? You gotta, you gotta lose to win. Just about, you know, taking the, taking the small, small steps of uh, slowly improving each, each competition, finding what I did wrong and fixing it. But yeah, it was a good combo. You know, I need to get that off my chest of saying it out loud of why my competition wasn't quite the greatest. I hate putting the blame on, you know, other people and shit, but because I'm not, I'm not trying to, like, blame anyone, but because me hitting or me not hitting my routines, that's, like, on me. But for me, using scores as a comparison, you know, it just makes it a little bit tougher when I know it was off. I've done the judging courses and all that stuff before. I've read the code of points, so I understand how the sport works inside and out pretty well. At least I, at least I think I know it pretty well. But yeah, I just kind of rejudged all my routines when I got home. No, I'm not being biased and giving myself, like, oh, this should have been a 15, scoring a 15 instead of a 12. No, no, no. Like, when I went and rejudged all my routines, I got five extra tenths here, one extra tenth there on this routine, three extra tenths there. And it doesn't sound like much, but when you do six events and you tally it all up, it adds like three more points to the routine. So it's like, okay, yeah, I get it. You messed up my floor, pommel, or whatever by a couple tenths. But then if you mess up the next event by three tenths, and the next one by four, and the next one by two, it all adds up, and then you got three extra points of mistakes that could have been added to my all-round score because I'm doing all six events. If I was only doing two events and there was like two tenths here and one tenth there, then it's only three tenths missing, but you know, you get my point, okay? Anyways, we're at the gym, the red zone, the dead zone, the kill zone, the war zone, okay? Let's get to work, shall we? Yeah, all right here, umba, handstand conditioning. Let's get it. Nice. Okay, that's good. Ah. Alright, pirouettes. Alright, reverse pirouettes. <clears throat> By the way, when I do pirouettes for New Year, three my good way, and then I do three my bad way. That's why the first three were really nice, and then the second three were all loose. Because uh, one way, you know, I'm really used to it, it feels right, it feels good. The other way just feels like so out of this world, really off. Except for reverse pirouettes, both ways feel relatively good, but for pirouettes, good way feels really good, bad way feels fucking insane. You should give it a try, doing pirouettes both ways. It's good for working your control, helps with P-bars. When you do your routine and if something's messing up and you catch one skill over here, well, you've worked pirouettes or bad way, so you have more control. All right, reverse. Now for one bar swing down stance. This one's also really good for control. And the and the trick with this one is uh, to really stall your one hand for as long as you can to like sh pretty much show yourself how much you're able to control it. That was five, only need to do five. Next, okay, Japanese handstand. Oh. All right, so we normally use these, well, actually, we normally use 
these rings, but they just seem to be off-centered. So we started using these ones, but they're also off-centered. So now we're gonna start just doing it on the real rings, which is easier, I guess, because uh, the length of the rings is like a shorter cable, which is much easier to kind of hold in a handstand. Whereas when I did it before on the long cables, it's harder to like hold that in because the length of the cable's longer. It's hard to explain if you're not a gymnast, but the longer the cable, the harder a handstand and any sort of strength move is to hold. So now we're just gonna end up doing it on the real rings for now on because both those rings are off so I'd be in a handstand like this instead of like this which will over time work the muscles differently and not really work them the way I want them worked so real rings from now on I guess no more counting to seven straight to heaven that's sad sad day all right let's zoom it in a bit though so it's not way back yeah it's good enough okay Okay, it was still hard, don't worry. Okay, now for one minute hands on the floor. And we're gonna start doing it on this floor because uh, this is the same floor that's like the competition one that we'd compete on most of the time. So then I can get more used to that. I don't know, I never do it on this floor. It's literally three feet away from where I was doing it before, but it's better to do it on this one because it's the same type of foamy material or whatever, you know? All right. Deadly. Okay, now for the new thing. This is the second time doing it now. We did it last morning training, which is literally like last week. Last Tuesday, seven days ago, was the last time we did this, I guess. Just because we had the whole uh, Wednesday training, and then podium training, and then the comp, and then, you know, a whole bunch of stuff, you know, get in the way of these press to handstands that we are about to do right here, okay? Literally, uh, just five press to handstands, and that's it. <laughs> I'm supposed to hold it, by the way. Damn it. Okay, if we could hold one of them, that'd be fucking splendid. I okay, I just wanna hold one more, just one. Why can't I hold a handstand? Oh, okay. Yeah, just like that. Holy shit. Oh. Nope. I'm gonna keep going until I get one. And I don't get to take a break until I get it. Fuck. I'm like this every time. I can't just quite get up to the handstand. Oh my. Such a joke. Doesn't count. My feet touch the floor on the way up. That has to be no deduction. Fuck. My feet touched again. Doesn't count, I fell again. I almost did it, but not quite. I'm starting to get tired here. <sighs> if ever anyone's wondering what's going on here, oh, it's because I'm not taking a break. I'm trying to teach my body and brain to understand that there's no other option. So uh, doing this is the only choice. Once I'm done and I make it, then I'll take a break and then my body will realize, oh, we need to do it like that. We were being so fucking stupid. Okay, you know, AKA. Burning the boats, no, uh, no retreat, no, uh, no plan B, no backup plan. Just like, sounds silly because I'm just talking about it for presses, but this kind of goes for, you know, every skill in the sport and everything you do in life. If you just go at it, convincing yourself that there's no other option, you have a, you have a better chance of getting it. Clearly right now, I can't get it. Let's try again.
there, did it. Good job. That is the lowest valued skill in my floor routine. Nice. All right, see that beautiful, beautiful orange and tan thing over there? It's called the vault, all right? Yep, 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 yep. Let's go to vault, shall we? Because those presses were just, oh, so much fun. So much fun. Over time, I'll get good at it. Like, uh, you know, the handstand conditioning I've been doing, I've been doing it for a long time. So when I started vlogging, I was already doing it, so I was already good at it. But now I'm adding something new in, that it's new, I'm not good at it. So, you know, the point of adding it is, adding it into the routine of conditioning is to get good at it. So when I do it in my floor routine, it's very simple. I wanna make my split Japanese press and then endo press pretty much like a break in my routine. Okay, you got it? All right, good, let's go to vault now. All right, just finished setting up the vault. Beautiful, beautiful setup. Look at those mats. I actually only need to put that red one on the top. All the other mats were there before, but I had to lift the vault and put a beat board there, so yeah. Okay, enough joking around. Two hand springs, one or two folds, one or two double twists. Maybe if uh, all of it goes good, we'll do some two and a halfs. We'll see how it's feeling. You know, it's first vault session of the week, so I don't, don't expect to fully attempt a two and a half unless it's feeling really good, but uh, you know, Thursday and Friday, I'm gonna be going for the two and a halfs, whether it you know, feels good or not, but since today is my first like legit training of the week not gonna go wild with it because yesterday we really didn't do a whole lot of training so yeah okay vault let's get started handspring number one handspring number two all right full twist number one Hey, nice, cool. Okay. My legs gave out kind of mid run, so as I was running, I kind of like stumbled. I just fucked everything up. So, yeah, good stuff. Uh, we're just gonna try that again. Full twist number two. All right, luckily everything is relatively in the positions where I want them to be. <coughs> just hella slow, super slow, like no power. So uh, we're gonna kick it up a few notches, you know? And uh, we're just gonna do another full. There's no point really doing the double twist if it's just gonna be a shitty double twist. So we're gonna keep doing full twists until I either get enough power or we end up doing a couple more and we're just, we'll cut her off there. Yeah. All right, full twist number three. That's better. There we go, that was, a, that was a lot better. Still not how it usually feels. Cause I, you know, first day of the week, whatever. But like, it was good, it was good. I'm just glad they weren't, you know, all shit. Like last Monday, I think it was, they were just all garbage. Couldn't find the energy, but there we go. We got a good one. We'll do uh, we'll do one more full twist, and then we'll be done. Unless this next full twist is just absolutely unreal, then we'll go for a double twist or something. All right, I just watched that back. That was actually it was be better than I like pictured it in my head. So the heel drive was way better. So after watching back, we're gonna go for the double twist. Tell okay? you. So the double twist good. Maybe we'll try two and a half. Uh, double twist number one. It was almost, almost good. Right as I was driving my heels, you know, right as I was popping off the table, and my feet were, feet, head, right as my feet were coming off, it was coming good, heel drive, and then I kind of closed. And when you close in, it kind of pulls you back, you know? I'm flipping like this, and then I kind of closed it, and then it like kills the rotation. So I have to keep it open and twist, 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 and stay open so my heels can keep driving and rotating me so uh i watched it back it's good enough to throw a two and a half so we're gonna we're gonna go for a two and a half because i also realized if i don't just start at least throwing two and a half at least every two vault sessions a week two to three a week then it's never really gonna come if i don't try and start working for it you know you gotta start somewhere i gotta start doing them really shitty and then have good days and bad days until until my current you know good days become the new bad days so i gotta like i just gotta keep i gotta work it i gotta start somewhere so we're gonna throw one two and a half obviously i'm gonna try and do a good i'm not just gonna throw it shitty but i'm gonna go for one so i can get used to feeling what it feels like to do a two and a half okay so yeah good stuff after this two and a half we're done okay two and a half number one All right, right as my hands hit the table, I knew I wouldn't make it to my feet because it was like so, so closed in and not opened up. But I still went for the whole two and a half. It was good, I finished the twist. Brought to my ass, but whatever. Gotta start somewhere. But you know, it's pretty good considering this uh, vault session started off with me not even sure if I wanna do a double twist, so. Yeah, so uh, this is this is my, I'm not using the vault session where I landed a two and a half because that day just felt really good. So we're gonna use today as my kind of, you know, relative reference point of how my two and a half normally is. But yeah, let's do, uh, let's do some landings. Let's do some landing, landings, landings, landings. Let's go do some landings now, okay? All right, one stick of everything and we're done.
Should have been like that yesterday. See, that's how landing should have been yesterday. A couple things landed, and then we get the stick. Not fucking 20 tries to stick a back tuck half turn. Good stuff. Okay, let's see you in first train. See you guys in second training. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to second training. We're getting started on floor here. Okay, I don't know. I don't think we're gonna do any double doubles today. I kind of want to work on my rebounds. So uh, it might just be like basics type of stuff. We'll see. We'll see. We'll get started, and we'll see you. Okay. Good stuff. for layout punch double twist that is the goal and then I will get an extra one tenth connection bonus plus an extra two tenths for doing the front layout so uh, yeah should should help with the routine Ow. all right I guess we are done with layout layout for day because uh, the one that I did that looked that looked okay I guess my body's not used to punching like that I'm more used to like punching like this and then landing like this you know like coming down this direction instead of that direction so I think when I punched I tweaked my ankle slightly it fucking really hurts right now it feels like it'll be one of those things where it'll be good in like three days but uh, yeah that's why that last turn right there was a uh, shit so yeah that feel that's great that's awesome okay we're gonna we're gonna see if we can work other stuff backwards now I guess oh fuck it's just my ankle you don't even need them. You know how many bones you got on your ankle? Yeah, they tried it. Maybe I broke one of them. I got 20 other ones. I'm good to go. All right, JDs and Littleman. We're, we're done floor, okay? This guy, this guy right here, he convinced me to, to, to take, it, take a day off floor, you know? Because uh, my, ankle, my ankle is hurting uh, a fair amount. So, yeah, we're going to take today, and then tomorrow's Wednesday, so we got tomorrow off floor and vault as well. And then, hope, I'm assuming, I feel like it'll be good again by... Uh, Thursday, so it doesn't feel like something major. It just feels like I kind of tweaked it, you know So it's like gonna be in a little bit of pain for a couple days, but yeah. Oh, well, huh? Yeah, it hurts to kind of just walk and punch and shit. So you hurt your ankle, too. <laughs> yeah <laughs> Yeah, so uh, we're, we're done floor for the day because uh, it's kind of hurting to punch land So, you know, we'll just take the day off. It's okay. Whatever. We'll just go and go to another event We got five other events that we can do. So yeah. All right time for p-bars. I don't know what we're doing to day on p-bars yet i want to work kung fu flip probably no routines maybe one routine maybe a half routine but mainly want to work the kung fu flip so uh, yeah let's get started Oh. 
it's pretty good, good stuff. Okay guys, we're gonna start working kip on the side of the bar so I can use it as a save for uh, my stutz one or my one and a quarter so if I overdo it and fall down, I can do a kip up so I don't fall like I did day two at nationals. There we go, almost got it. I got this, I just gotta commit, commit, just commit. 100%. Give it everything you got. See, did it. Third try. Let's go. Kung Fu Flip, let's do it. Attempt number one. So that was okay for the first one. Watched it back, had like absolutely no height. So gotta go up more so then I can make the flip. All right, guys, that homna was deadly. <laughs> Correction, Jordan just corrected me. That wasn't a homna, that was a kung fu flip. That kung fu flip was deadly. Just watched it back. That was absolutely delusional, deadly, killer. That was good. I flipped and I really like caught it like more. Like uh, last week when I was doing it, I was kind of catching it like here and in really quick. But today, it looks like that one is kind of like legs together up there and in, which is good. That's what we're that's what we're going for. Let's do one or two more because I uh, catch. I'm not really that good at catching it yet, so kind of hurts my shoulders because I'm kind of just going like that and fucking taking all the impact. So I need to get good at it so I can hit my hands and then sink in nicely. Yeah, one or two more. That was good. Just traveled really far. <coughs> All right, ladies and gents, time for eye bar. Got the eye bar grips. That last time it was good enough. It hurt a bit because I traveled much farther forward than my other ones. Instead of going up and kind of down, I went forward, so I kind of went into the bar a bit, which hurt a little bit because uh, I'm still relatively new to the skill. But I'm hoping within the next one or two trainings, I can do it without the mats and then hopefully throw it in a routine. I plan on doing it like fourth up in my routine for my skills. But yeah, good stuff, good progress. You know, got the kip, got the homna. Start working layout, layout on the floor. So I can do layout double twist. And it was good. Floor was, you know, like floor was still alright. Even though I only did like five turns because I hurt my ankle, but it was still floor was still good. But yeah, high bar. No routines. We're just gonna do a quick little high bar sesh. Kind of just do all my skills really quick and then get out of here. Because uh, it's already pretty late and I've spent a lot of time kind of just working on those skills. Because in between each turn, I would kind of like review the video and like really try and see what I can fix without taking a bunch of turns to fix it, but just do less turns studying the videos, you know? So yeah, just gonna do a bit. Bit of high bar, play around here, and then uh, done training for the day. No pommel. Well, we'll take the day off pommel because it's kind of my shoulders are a little stiff. Pommel hurts the shoulders as well, and my pommel seems pretty confident and pretty ready. So, yeah. Okay, let's get started. <laughs> Release moves are off. We're gonna work. We're gonna work different skills instead. We're gonna try quast, which is like giant pop full turn. Haven't done it in a long time. Let's give her a go. Good shit, let's go. Ha, 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 ha. 
All right, that is absolutely insane. Um, again, I have watched lots of videos of people training that skill and I really like studied it. And I got lots of notes about like kind of how to work it, but I haven't worked it in a long time. And again, no fear. I just had no fear when I went for the skill. I just went super early, really went for it. And it was good, good stuff. All right, now we're gonna try, now we're gonna try to catch one Coleman. All right, I think, I think that was God, you know, sending me a sign, not letting me catch those release moves because he wanted me to work that skill. Worked it, got it good. Probably gonna throw it in the routine now because it's, it's pretty simple. It's a pretty simple skill. So yeah, we're gonna just try uh, one Coleman and we're good. Then he got up and then he just did this for like 10 hours. Good stuff, did it, caught it. All right, let's do the outro. All right, that's the end of training. Good training, I did a lot of new skills. I'm gonna try to add into the routine now, but yeah, it's a good day. Okay, now you do your thing. Word of the day. Okay, and the word of the day is baka. So how you spell it, B-A-K-A. -A. If you watch until the very, very end, add a purple heart with the baka emoji. With the with baka. A, wait, no, not a baka emoji, with the word baka. And a purple heart, okay. Yes. Okay, bye, I love you. Bye, I love you.